so-called babis who give them uh, little words on a piece of paper and saying, keep that with you uh, or put it, put it around your neck. That's a call like a jan, uh, tantar. And they do this black magic to uh, make people frightened or make them believe that things are going to happen to them. And Guru Gobind Singh is saying that, Oh, Vaheguru, against your name, these are nothing. You are the supreme mantar, you are the supreme jantar, you are the supreme tantar. So a Gursik should never ever fear anything. He should have full faith in God's name. And it's, it's this inner faith that builds your strength. And you eventually become fearless with God's name inside your heart. But a lot of people lose faith and they start fearing things that are going to happen to them. And whether they happen or not, the mind actually takes things uh, even further and thinks it's happening when they're not even happening. So always have faith in Guruji's words. Always have faith in Gurbani. Gurbani is very, very powerful. Just a small uh, story on this. Uh, it happened in Africa probably uh, Kenya or one of them countries uh, where uh, the natives are well known for black magic and uh, they are also hired by people to uh, put frighteners on other people or put spells on other people and uh, this particular uh, black magician was hired by uh, one of our Punjabi brothers to do harm to a Gursik. Obviously they must have had some sort of a bad dealing with each other and he wanted to sort of finish him off. So he hired this black magician uh, who's well known for uh, creating terror in people. And he wanted to, him to put, uh, do harm to this Gursik. So this, this um, uh, black magician, he followed this Gursik uh, when he left home and he was going somewhere to see somebody. Uh, he followed him all the way, stayed at a distance. He saw him going to a house uh, and uh, the Gursik went somewhere, somebody's house. He went to a friend's house, a relative's house. He would stay the night. Uh, he did his part. Uh, and after part, he went to sleep. And this black magician was trying to send all his black magic against this Gursik to harm him. And it just kept coming back to him. Everything he sent kept coming back to him. And of course, the problem with that is it, it can harm them if he doesn't do what they wanted to do. So Kala, uh, this black uh, person, he was really, really frustrated all night. He was trying to uh, harm this Gursik and he couldn't do it. And he was at lost because he had never failed before. And so he decided to find out what mantra this Gursik had done to himself that it stopped his black magic having any effect. So when in the morning the Gursik left where he was staying, this... Uh, native uh, black man, he followed him and he caught up with him and, his, he, and he said, what do you do at, uh, at night before you go to bed? He said, why? He said, no, I just want to know, what do you do? He said, we do, we do prayer. We do kirtan sola, we go, to, we go to sleep. He said, well, he said, what do you want to know? And he then, he told him the truth. He said, look, I was hired to kill you. I tried my best with my black magic and it didn't have no effect on you. And the Guru was, Guru was totally unaware of what he was doing. And he was totally unaware of the power of Gurbani. We totally underestimate the power of Gurbani. Sohila. That we do before bed. We just say, oh, it's a routine. We just do it. But this Guru Sikha had obviously done it with love and devotion. And he was doing his power with love and devotion. And even this wicked uh, powerful black magic could have no effect on him. So don't underestimate the power of Gurbani. There's no mantar, there's no jantar, there's no tantar, there's no black magic that can match Gurbani. Where we fail is our own faith and devotion to Gurbani. It's not gone inside us yet. It's, the devotion is not there, the heart is not in it. But once it's in it, then nothing can come. Because where Guruji resides, how can anything else affect? Where Guruji resides, God resides. And nothing is bigger than God. Nothing is more powerful than God's name. So Guruji has given us a lot of 
uh, powers that we are totally unaware of. And according to uh, Muskinji, uh, he is saying even the kara, even the kara itself is a very powerful uh, deterrent to these evil forces. He said, Muslim ladies used to come to the Gurdwara to have the Granthi put a kara on their children, saying it, it keeps evil forces away. Saraloka kara is known for keeping, if you wear a, uh, something of uh, Sarulo, the black magic cannot touch you. What they have to do, they say that, uh, that if somebody is using it, they will say, first of all, make sure that person has got nothing of uh, iron on him. Make sure he has it off before this will work. This spell will not work with that on. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji, over 300 years ago, gave us, not just for that purpose, but as a, uh, as a um, reminder to us that we should lead a very honorable and a moral and high stature, high character life. Uh, but it has this other effect that it stops all these evil things also touching you. Whereas people, I mean, a lot of ladies do that now. They put a cut on their child uh, just to ward off uh, evil. But obviously the cut has a bigger significance and that is that it is like a uh, handcuff from Guruji on your hand that you will not do anything wrong with your hands. You will not do anything unreligious. You will not do anything ungormut with your hands. That's the, the big uh, essence of kara. But it has the other effect as well. So don't underestimate the kakars the Guruji has given us or the Bani Guruji has given us or the Gurmantar Guruji has given us. They, they are beyond our comprehension compared to the evil that exists.